In this problem, we're told to find the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared minus 6x plus 9 over x minus 3. And this evaluates to uh, 0 over 0. If x approaches 3, clearly this is 0. And up top, we have 9 minus 18 plus 9, which is also 0. So we try to simplify this, and this simplifies pretty nicely. This could be rewritten as the limit as x approaches 3. The numerator here factors as x minus 3 times x minus 3. And that's over x minus 3. So this denominator will cancel out with one of those factors from the numerator. So this limit will be equivalent to the limit as x approaches 3 of x minus 3. And clearly, if x right here gets really close to a value of 3, this gets really close to a value of 0. So we can state that as our answer. That's the limit. And then we just take note of the fact that our original expression here simplified to this. So the graph of this function, if we were to say this was a function, f of x equals this, x squared minus 6x plus 9 over x minus 3, the graph of f of x would look just like this. It would look just like a graph of x minus 3, except there would be a hole in the graph at x equals 3. And another example, the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus x minus 2 over x squared minus 4x plus 4. Well, if x gets close to 2, let's think about the numerator here. This is going to be 4 minus 2 minus 2, that will be 0 over, and the denominator is going to be 4 minus 8 plus 4, which will be 0. So we need to try to simplify this. So let's rewrite this original expression here as the limit as x approaches 2, and let's see if we can simplify this x squared minus x minus 2, the numerator there, that factors as x minus 2 times x plus 1. And if you don't see that, you can do a FOIL real quick and see that you get that numerator. And then the denominator, x squared minus 4x plus 4, factors as x minus 2 times x minus 2. And this factor cancels out. So we, so you might be tempted to think, okay, that's great, that's perfect, we're just about done. But that leaves us with this. The limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 1 over x minus 2. And you see we still have a problem. As x gets close to 2, that denominator gets really close to 0. In fact, if we go ahead and plug in a value of 2 there, this is going to give us 2 plus 1, which is 3 over 0. Now here we have a case where the denominator is 0 and the numerator is not. And that's what happens as x gets close to 2. And you might remember that when uh, the denominator is 0 and the numerator is not, we have a vertical asymptote. So we would say the limit as x approaches 2 of this function I'll just write f of x instead of rewriting all of that. The limit of that function does not exist. And instead, there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 2.